What's up guys? Welcome to another video. So we just got a little one today. We're just going to talk about a couple things. Talk about the immediate future. Talk about some updates. Um, I have a little mini calendar I want to go over. So we'll get into that now. I'm uploading this on the 14th. Uh, and then this weekend, starting the 19th of April, we will have an RNG weekend. Um, and sort of how this one will work is in the past what we've done is any luck boosts you had being a... Lucky Amulet of Torture, a Lucky Amulet, a Ring of Wealth Eye, Luck of the Pugs, whatever. Um, what we what we did in the past was we doubled those. So any boost you had would be doubled. The downside of that is not everybody has all of the maxed, you know, lucky items. They don't have, not everybody has Lucky Torture, not everybody has a Lucky Shield, not everybody has a Luck of the Pugs. Um, most people probably are rocking luck, Lucky Amulet and Ring of Fortune or Ring of Wealth combo. Um, so what we've decided to do... And this is what we did last time, is rather than double the luck boost, we made the base number, instead of zero, we made the base number the same as a luck of the pugs. So basically, everybody had a built-in luck of the pugs that, that stacked with all of their other luck boosts. And that's what we'll be doing this weekend, so that'll apply, um, it'll start Friday the 19th, and it will end Monday the 22nd. So, yeah, have fun times there. On Saturday the 20th, 4.20... We are going to be doing a live stream at 1 p.m. We're going to be doing a Voss Mass that will be with the Luck Boost, so uh, definitely a good Voss Mass to get to. We're probably going to be doing about three or four hours on stream, so it should be a nice little event. It's going to start about 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll be running about 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so um, if you have the ability to make it, I would say do so, because it should be some fun times. Um, and then we're going to have double experience a little bit earlier this month. Uh, the end of this month is the NFL draft. Um, and for those that don't know, I'm, I'm a big fan of NFL, uh, the Raiders, and uh, most importantly, this draft. So I'm probably going to be focused on that all weekend and don't want to be doing too much. So we're going to start the double experience weekend a little bit earlier. We're going to start it on the 24th, so we'll start on a Wednesday. And it will end on the Monday, the 29th. So got quite a few events uh, should be fun times. Check your um, check your market calendar, or you know the Discord has all the information as well. I'll probably try to remember to put something in the comments if you forget and you want to circle back to that. Um, so we'll talk about the next main thing I want to talk about. It is the dark light boots. So these boots have been teased in some videos. Um, I've been using them in game. I'm currently rocking them, and um, people. You know, I've talked about it a lot. So I think it's pretty well known for most people that are actually playing Revival. Um, these are the Completionist Boots. So instead of having a Completionist Cape, we went with Boots. And the reason for it is because there's so many good capes on this game. Like, there's just so many good ones. The Infernal Cape, the Infernal Max Cape. There's just so many variations of capes. Um, I don't think a Completionist Cape would be a good idea. I feel like there's already too many good capes in game. And... I thought there could be a market for boots. So the second the boots got made, I knew that they were going to be the item. Uh, the color scheme, they look fresh, especially with like a third age setup. I'm a big fan of them. If you're not a fan of them, sorry. I, I don't think there's anything that would be perfect for everyone, you know what I mean? Everybody has their different opinions. But I'm a big fan of them, and the reactions in-game have been pretty positive. So these will be the completionist boots. Now, there's been sort of chatter of maybe doing other items as well as the boots, but I, I really can't. Say. Like, I haven't, I haven't, I want to make gloves, that's the real idea, but I haven't had much success with that, so, as of now, we're just going to go under the assumption that the boots are the boots, so they are called Dark Lights Boots, and the entire thing is called Dark Lights Trials, so, um, that's what we'll call it, instead of Completionist Cape, or Completionist Boots, or Completionist, it's called Dark Lights Trials, and it's kind of similar to Fermit Trials, the quest from RuneScape, you basically have to earn his approval, you, he has to consider you a champion, and to do so, you have to go to each one of the champions, the previous champions, and do something that, or do something or show them something that, that proves that you um, are worthy, and that you should have their vote. So there is already one person coded right now. You can do this right now after watching this video or while you're watching. Um, go to home, and then make your way to Port Phasmatis. Doesn't really matter how you get there, but this is just the way I'm going to show you. Um, so then if we walk over here in the pub, you have Robin. He is the first champion that was introduced to the game. He's the only one that is currently in game. You can talk to him and exchange all of your titles, and that'll unlock the title aspect of the thing. So if you're in game and you type Topic 25, it's going to open up the forum post. And this is sort of a rough... 
idea of what the completionist requirements would, would end up being. Um, and this was posted a very long time ago. This was, pr this was pretty much like early revival. We always knew we wanted to have some sort of completionist item, but we um, never got around to figuring out what we'd want to do and when we'd want to do it. But this is the time. I feel like this is the, the most appropriate time. We're about to hit our two-year anniversary. We might as well have some sort of completionist in-game thing. So in terms of, of additional, you know, like I know if the completion escape on RuneScape, they've they've added more challenges afterwards. We're not going to do that. Dark Lights Trials will end with Dark Lights Trials, so you'll have the boots. But I think there's definitely room to expand on it in the future. Maybe have like not exactly trimmed comp boots or whatever, but you know maybe we'll add the gloves as Dark Lights Trials too or something like that. So I would say there's definitely room to expand, but you don't have to worry about. Um, doing tons and tons of things to keep these boots. Once you have finished the Dark Lights Trials, the first one anyways, you will unlock the boots and you'll be set. So these could change. They're not 100%. I would say they're roughly about like 85-95%. Um, I'm using, they, they, you know, certain things you might lose, certain things you might not keep. Um, but this is definitely a good guide. And once the actual achievements, like the, the entire Dark Lights Trials are released, I'll have a probably just a separate guide to talk about them all and all of the things that you have to do. Um, so for this dude right here, the only one in game, you turn in all the titles. These are all the titles right here. Um, you turn in every single one of them. It says you don't lose them, you do. So I should probably edit that and make you lose them. You lose them, and then instead of getting them back, you get the champion title. And then of course, if you don't want the champion title, then don't turn them in or wait to turn them in. Redeem the one you like. And then turn them in or get the one you like and uh, again because they are re repeatable you can regain them so um just keep that in mind and then and the next very next update isn't going to be the dark lights trials i know that i said the next next update would be but it's not going to be <laughs> so spoiler alert the next update will be this weekend uh probably the friday the 19th and it is just going to be a sort of small batch to sort of segue into dark lights trials so you actually will see some new champions in the next update you will be able to turn in some more items, um, and the good thing about that is you just get a, you get a rid of you get you get to get rid of some some items that are clogging up your banks, uh, mainly the clue one. That one's definitely coming out, so you should be able to get rid of like 30 spots that are saved up for all the clue items. I know that that most people still have those. I myself have those, not not on this save file, but on a different one. So yeah, these these are not all of the the uh, the requirements. There will be more, so get ready for ready for it. And I, I just want to want to talk about it. This is supposed to be like the in-game completion right so this is like the, the the biggest accomplishment you'd go for let's say you're a new account you're just trying to you know you're just starting on revival you're not sure what to do this would be your in-game goal this would be the new you know it's completionist right so i wouldn't look at it like I, people are kind of approaching it with the wrong the wrong way oh you know it comes up a lot with the dank title the dank title is one of the annoying ones to get because it requires 420 weeds so you have to like really go through the annoying process of clicking weeds and that's one where they're like, oh, we want you to just throw the weeds in the shop, or why don't you have a monster drop weeds? If you're if you're coming at it with that approach, you're probably going to have a bad time, because it's going to get worse than that. I promise you. This is supposed to be the end game content. Some of these challenges are going to be really hard. You should be able to look at these boots when you're wearing them and go, I did a lot of useless grinding to get these. So if you're coming at it with the mindset of that these the, the achievements we already announced are, are difficult, or you don't want to grind it, don't good that's probably it's probably not for you that's why it isn't max cape it's comp boots it is the the end game content they have really good stats if you want to look at them they are already coded that is best in slot by far you don't you can take my word on that um you will need all four of the other boots guardian boots primordials pagasians and eternals just so you know but you get the first boot pair the first the, the first pair of boots for free and then from that point on, any new pair of boots will cost 100 mil. So, and they're not tradable, obviously. It's, you know, it's comp boots. But, uh, should be fun. That's going to be coming out very soon. You'll have some more information in the very next update. Um, as terms of what, like, the next big, big, massive update after this, probably raids. I, I feel like I, I'm, I'm at a point where I, I, I kind of just want to do raids. I don't want to do raids too, like Old School has. I don't want to do raids one like old school has. I want to do my own raids. I think that the current, the way the current game is looking right now, it's looking like we're not going to have the good raids too, you know. And 
And really, if even if we had all of the, the models and everything perfect, there's a very good possibility I wouldn't be able to code it good anyways. So I've, I've thought about it a lot, and I think that just we're a unique server, right? That's our whole thing. We're not we're not close to old school. We I mean we don't even have the same looking of you know client. The client doesn't even look the same. Um, we're not an old school server. We're a unique server. We're we're, we're we're revival, and with that, I think that doing our own raids could be fun. I actually am looking forward to it. I have a couple ideas on how to do it. I think it would be cool if you had like bandos. You just kind of like mixed in weird bosses, like custom ones, and then all of a sudden you're fighting bandos. I want to sort of try to maybe like add some randomness to it. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I think I think that that'll be the next big update, and that'll be cool because we can sort of like time that up with the two year anniversary of Revival, which is in June. So you can expect a ton of shenanigans in June. Like we'll we'll have double XP weekends, double RNG, triple RNG, double drops. We'll have tons of crazy weekends in June, as well as a player appreciation event. Some people have been asking about an Easter event. We're not going to do an Easter event. Um, and there's no like I mean, I've heard a lot of different like conspiracy theories about it. No, there's no there's no reasons or anything like that. It just comes down to uh, how many events we do, how many we want to do, and. I just feel like uh, having this nice space in between the Blast Player Appreciation event and the, um, the, the, the massive two-year anniversary event. I think there's going to be... Uh, it's going to be too crazy if there's a third event like in the middle of it. So we will do something small. I know I've, I've told people we're not going to do anything. That's not, that's not true. There will be something, and you'll see what it is. And we'll, we'll have fun with it while it's there. But that's going to be on Easter Day itself, that Sunday, the 21st. So uh, if you have the ability to play... That's the day you're going to want to play. It will be involved with the double RNG, so that's cool, and that's a bonus. But we will do a little something just to say we did, but I wouldn't expect a full-out event or anything like that. But that's it. Just wanted to sort of make this video to give you guys an update on the current, you know, s where I'm looking at everything, where I'm, where I'm looking at on the updates. So I want to try to keep you guys updated on that. Um, in terms of videos, uh, you'll have a Elite Mystery Box opening video on... You're, I'm uploading this on Monday. No, I'm uploading this on Sunday. So Tuesday. So the 16th, you'll have the Elite Mystery Box video. And then on the Thursday, the 18th, you'll have another Bank Buster episode. That's when we'll be doing the banned players. So stay tuned for that. Um, and then again, reminder, that stream this weekend, 1 p.m., 4.20, Dank Times. So... Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Hope to see you there. If you have any, you know, concerns, suggestions, you know, anything at all, comments below.